Hello everybody, this is Back Blast. Here we are again on Firewatch. We're about to go through this little gap and investigate the smoke. Um, for those of you that don't know where we're up to, uh, there were two girls setting fireworks off and they were drunk and then they were skinny dipping. I went and shouted at them uh, for setting the fireworks off and they said I was a creep and then they um, we found some wires that were cut and uh, we think it was probably them. Not sure. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. So they broke into the tower. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Um, but I don't. I still don't know whether they uh, they actually cut the wires. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, hello! Look at this. Wow. Okay, it looks like it's been trashed. Um, no, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay, so says I hope you're fucking happy with leaving. We're going to find the police or whatever, tell them how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite. So a bear's done this, hasn't it? And all that stuff. Oh, and steal our panties is gross out. Right, so there you go. So the panties were up with the cut wire. Somebody stole their panties and cut the wire. So there's still somebody else out here. So it looks like these girls are going to go anyway. Um, so we'll keep hold of that, and then we'll get the camera out, and we'll we'll take a uh, take a photo of this. Yeah. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Are you there? Yeah, sorry. Honestly, I, I'm just I'm just glad they're gone. It's probably the best case scenario for us, and now we can just get back to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. There you go. Day three. So yeah, it looks as though they're gone now. So no more fireworks, no more... Uh, um, but it does look as though somebody else... Somebody else had cut the wire. Um, yeah, so I think there's still probably somebody out there. Let's have a quick look round before we go down there. And make sure there's nobody. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. 
Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. So, I've got to look for smoke then. Right, any smoke? Anybody see any smoke? Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How were those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Fantastic. Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Oh, and that's that. <laughs> Alright, and it skipped to day nine. So I've, I've just been here for a week uh, since, the, uh, since I boarded the window up. Okay, well, I've... I've Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Afternoon? It looks like it's, like, almost evening. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Oh, dear. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Well... All right, Henry, thanks. I don't mind. Enjoy the sunset. I don't want to enjoy the sunset. So, almost another... Henry. Henry, wake up. Okay. Hello? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, she's drunk. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Julia? Are you having a nice time? What? Sure. Are I'll, you? I must Everything be good there? Dreaming or something. Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously okay, Jules. either asleep or delirious. Delilah 
That seems nice. What? Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going mad, obviously. Day 33. Okay. Ah, yeah. We're, we're gonna head for a hike north. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hey, so... Who's Jules? Uh, she's... Wait, did I tell you about her? Uh, no. Not exactly. Yeah, she heard me then on the radio. How... A couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and you were, I guess, talking in your sleep? I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. It's hard to talk about. You don't have to. It's hard because, well, I, I fucked up. We all fuck up. But being out here can't be some sort of punishment for you. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Henry, listen. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. Well, that's why I'm out here. Get away from it all. I guess. Is the wind getting up? Is it me? Okay. I think it's actually going to get dark while I'm out here. And you know what? I should have picked up all those cans when I saw them. Because otherwise, you know, they're. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get confused by them, aren't I? I'm going to see them again and think, whoa, who's dropped these? Right, now where's this supply drop? Is it a bit. I've been to this before, haven't I? I've been to it before. Where's the supply drop? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. No. Oh, maybe I haven't been to it before. Maybe it's been locked up since. Yeah. Two forks. Do, uh, do I pick those up? No. Spruce and moss. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? I got mine. Who do you think I am? Could have nicked somebody else's. Just for a laugh. I met somebody else for once. Oh, a fire! You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Really? And she doesn't have a name yet. Oh. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Um, not bad. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. 
so there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? I'm looking at the fire. Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I am doing. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Well, what are the chances of it burning? I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Okay, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Yeah. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. Uh, I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... Yeah, bring that bottle over. Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Yeah, is there a danger of it burning down my lookout tower? Uh, I'm sort of worried about it a little bit. Not knowing much about... You're going fishing without a license? What? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh track and just let me know what you find? Yeah. There was a crew getting fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Okay. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it must have been the thing that took the girls, but I still don't know who the other guy was. Um, can I put this away? Yeah, thank you. I want to see the map. I want to <laughs> see where I'm going. Where am I? Okay. Alright, I'm almost there. I just need to go down the hill. Okay. I think we're just going down here, aren't we? Is that right? Has got the right direction? Yeah. Yeah, we're going in the right direction. Okay, so I'm looking for a bear. There's a bear somewhere. Okay. I'm looking for fresh tracks. Oh, this is where the girls had the campsite. The first campsite. Is it? Yeah, yeah, the backpacks were up there, weren't they? I'm looking for fresh tracks. Those aren't fresh tracks. Okay. Do, do, do. Well, the police didn't come out and ask about the girls, did they? Even though, you know, I presume Delilah rang it in and said, yeah, yeah, we've had some girls setting fireworks off down here. And then they've... But... Fresh tracks. Oh, there's a note. There's a note or something. Okay, there's no bears knocking about anyway. But there's a note. A clipboard. Let's examine the clipboard. What the hell? What? What the. Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here and I. Uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? 
Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, it can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oops. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... I just, I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't, what the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. No, they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. We should just get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hiked through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I am not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Okay, we, we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Well, um, it started to get a bit sinister. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here uh, for today, or for this video anyway. I'm going to put some more up soon. Um, you've got to let me know whether you like these or not, because um, otherwise I, I'm, I'm just posting videos and I don't know whether you're saying, oh, I'm not interested in this, or uh, yes, carry on doing it. So just let me know. Um, Remember where that subscribe button is as well, and I'll see you next time.